Extra, extra, read all about it. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle and this is my channel. This is your daily tarot card reading for September 9th, 2018. Daily energies and a daily prediction. Hi guys, how are you? Please do click subscribe down below so you can follow the channel and click that bell so that you know when I go live and upload all that new uh, content. Guys, every single day I do this daily and we check in with each other. It's a daily reading. So this is the energy for the today. And I know that a lot can change in a day, but also I know that most days we can get through anything, anything, and hopefully do things that improve our lives. This is my tarot card deck. I start with a deck completely refreshed. The energy is cleared so that it's fresh for the day. And all the cards are also turned upright so that I know that if a reversal pops out, it's a hundred percent meant to be read that way. This is how I start off all of my all of my readings, including my personal readings. Um, basically, just what I do to ensure the highest quality of the reading. I have to say the cards have been acting weird lately. Weird as in stuttering, stuttering, stuttery. It could be my energy, but I feel like it's definitely also this, but it's also this week. It's also the energy of this week has been a little bit more, more difficult and less straightforward. Daily energy for September 9th, 2019. Tarot card prediction for September 2019. Strength. Also, I mean, it's not necessarily the Leo card. The sun is the Leo card. But this strength card always reminds me of Leo because of the lion. However, this doesn't necessarily represent Leo or, or even a lion. The, the lion is representative of a beast, of a beast to tame. And that isn't by taming in terms of um, breaking, but taming in terms of Finding a balance between it, like finding um, a way to understand it and the way to accept it and a way to become one with it. So this is a very happy, balanced card. Justice comes out as well. That's an interesting combination. Justice is the Libra card. And, well, okay, so right now, strength and balance. Balance, in, in terms of all my zodiac signs, and please do check out the zodiac horoscope week ahead predictions for um, September 8th to the 16th. They're all coming up. They're all coming up now. They'll all come up over Monday and Tuesday. They'll all be out. This is 10 of pentacles in reverse. So this could suggest financial difficulty or difficulty at home. It could also suggest this internal, like a, like a warning of finances being drained and the money not being as sustainable as you thought it was. So this is a warning right now that perhaps we're spending too much money and we need to be a little bit more conservative in terms of the money that's going out because the money that's coming in is clearly not equaling it. This could also imply that there's a lawsuit coming up or that something in terms of the legal system is about to come grab you. Hmm.
More cards in reverse. And why am I not surprised? This card is up. So there's a lot of entanglements, a lot of stress, a lot of basically stuff that you don't want to be dealing with, but that you have to deal with today. Um, today would be a very good day to... Jesus, I was about to say meditate and to try to reduce levels of stress, but I think today is really you've just got to try to like hit hit the balls as they're thrown at you. Because all of these cards have come out in reverse. The devil, somebody really out to get you. Temperance up in reverse, which means which means bottom line is there is an imbalance that has been struck and an imbalance is really causing your life and your circumstance a lot of strife. This is also perhaps an unexpected pregnancy, falling out of favor with a, an audience or a crowd. And essentially, well, this is usually a disinterest card. Not Either not appreciating what's been offered to you, or things finally coming through and starting to pick up again. So let's see what the next card out is. Temperance in reverse is the central card, though. So it speaks to an imbalance. It speaks to lack of patience, frustration, really getting the best of you, bringing you down. It could very well be why this devil is in reverse here, because you are looking to do things that are a little bit um, on the DL and shady to, to sort of temper what you the feel that you fear inside and um today would not be a good day to do that lots of cards that came out sun card which is happiness and abundance judgment which is a good decision that you've made the world, right? A new, in other words, a new, something new that you started in your life, but being stressed out by it because now it's sort of running away with you and running away from you and deceiving you. So the, in other words, today the energy is being very, very, very dissatisfied with what's happening in your life and maybe being pushed to the point of acting rashly or doing something impulsively to make yourself feel better when that's just going to cause you more trouble. So for today, in terms of the energies for today, the suggestion is simply this. Be low key. Go slow. Don't make any rash decisions. In fact, make as few decisions as you possibly can today. Honestly, I would say... If you can, do a Netflix and chill day. Go to work, lay under the radar. If there's a meeting, listen, nod your head. Only speak when you're really certain of what you need to say and use your words um, economically. Um, yeah, this is definitely a go below the radar day. Not in terms of doing anything shady. In terms of avoiding that kind of behavior. In terms of avoiding that impulsive, reactionary, oh shit, I've got to act and I've got to act fast. Today is that day where you want to avoid that energy. And the temperance being in reverse is implying that your energy wants to overreact. It wants to be extreme. It It's almost a desperate energy that wants to act too fast. Instead of being able to calm yourself and be, it's like you're not able to calm yourself today. And you might actually, there might actually be a tendency for you to drain the bank accounts, impulsive spending today, because of the fact that you want to make yourself feel good. And that's your fastest way to it. Go shopping, spend money, buy yourself something. This is honestly a day where you need to stay away from that. You know, if you, know, if you pay bills today, you pay a bill. But, but A, make sure it's a bill that you, you have to pay. In, in other words, make sure that you weren't overbilled for something because that's a danger today as well. Make sure that you, um, you were charged the correct amount when you go and use your credit card somewhere today. 
I would also just avoid any unnecessary expenses or expenditures. So if you can, make this a very low-key day. Do like fl fly under the radar in a good way. In a, you're trying to avoid any kind of as much conflict as possible. Once again, don't go to extremes today. That's that's the warning of the central card. The central theme is going to extremes of not being able to strike the balance that you need because there's definitely like there's definitely a um people in other words people are watching this could be that like the actual justice system in terms of watching your finances watching your money the irs showing up out of the blue some sort of organization saying hey by the way you owe us money make sure that they're a legitimate organization because it will stress you out but it could also be a scam so make sure to verify that what they're telling you is correct because they're going to approach you as if they have a right to approach you but it, it looks it's and it's going to stress you out because it's about your money but it looks to be that the organization is either askewed in their decision making process or or it's a scam straight out so beware of that today and also be aware of how you're how you're received in terms of what in terms of what you say and how you interact with people. I would honestly, yeah, I'm trying to, I would honestly avoid any kind of confrontation today. Like like that would be your best bet is to just be under the radar. And like I said, today is the day when you just sort of nod and let people believe what they want to believe. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, um, there's a, there's a, there's a strange sense of really dissatisfaction with what's going on in your life right now. And it's coming through loud and clear today. It's this energy of really not being happy and feeling stuck feeling like you're almost going in reverse and you don't understand and you're like churning your wheels and you're not like you don't understand why things aren't moving forward it's a it's a frustrating day and you're not really had like everything that you thought uh, all the happiness you thought was coming in it's almost like either you're not seeing it or you feel like it's being stolen away from you because you're stressed out because you're worried so honestly i would stay away from any kind of activity that is an in court that that isn't exactly what you love like if you really love you have a favorite book i would go and read that favorite book today if you have a favorite television show i would go and make after you get home from work watch that favorite television show be in connection to and find find a way to connect yourself to doing something with either someone that you love or with what you love so that you don't have this feeling of just dissatisfaction in your life right now. Like your life is moving too slow and there's this like, like there's this like, like, like rub, like this push, like this like conflict between what you really want out of life and what you have right now. Find the connection between what you have right now and where you want to be. And just find the connection, you know, six degrees of separation, right? Um, Find the connections, at least step one, between you and what you love to do and who you are right now. Put yourself in the mindset of, no, I'm on the same planet as what I want. There are other people making, making that dream happen. I'm a person too. I even have things in common with those people. So already I have things working in my favor. I'm not there yet, but that doesn't mean that I'm never going to get there. <clears throat> but just to know that the, the, the energy today is going to challenge you. It's going to, it's going to make you feel very frustrated and sort of like you're, you're being robbed almost. You're being robbed and the world is against you. There's a propensity today. There's a toward feeling like you're being robbed and that the world is against you. And it could very well be that somebody is not treating you well. And it's stressing you out. But instead of curling up and being frightened of it and crying about it, 
what I would do is be proactive toward it, not confrontational, but see, okay, what is happening really? And what can I do about it, if anything? It may be a good idea to um, practice your words before you make any phone calls, just, just so that you can make sure that people are getting your message very, very clearly, that you're articulating clearly, and that you're also being respectful because today is a day where you would tend to want to pop off at somebody because you're already defensive and you already feel very angry or frustrated about something. So those are the red flags for today. They're flapping in your face and they're waving hard right now. So make sure that you know them and you know that the energy is there. Because the truth is, there's also energy of, but things are going well. And I feel like it's just, you're not, or or somebody's, somebody's actually, somebody's action is taking away from your enjoyment of what's going well. Because the truth is, there are things that are going well right now. But your focus, as well as some other, somebody else's activity is stressing your happiness out. It's draining your focus on happiness. It's draining it. And so what you need to do is be aware of this sort of tomfoolery and trickery. It could be from the cosmos, just this tension, this, this strain, almost this rub between what makes us really happy and what we have to face right now or what we're going through right now, what challenges us right now. You know, I would conf confront anybody who is, you feel pulling something shady on you because it looks like it, they really are and it's just going to cause more stress in your life. So I would confront it right now. But I would, like I said, do it diplomatically and practice your words before you go into this confrontation because um, you're really going to want to be articulate and listen. Listen very, very carefully. Yeah. Yeah. It's very important to, to, it's just very important this today to listen to what other people are saying before you respond, right? And avoid unnecessary confrontations. Just, if you don't, if they're not really important to you, like if somebody says something rude to you on the street, you're passing that person, you're never going to see them again. There's no need to turn around and feed that negative energy no need because there's already too much of it and real stuff going on that you have to face and confront today so avoid any unnecessary bs just just avoid it like i said if somebody says something to you <clears throat> just delete the comments block the person or walk away from the situation like those kind of things those petty things will just exacerbate the actual real challenges of today, because I do think that there's actual real challenges. There is something impeding your success today. There is something that is almost trying to steal it away. And so what you have to do is be rational and use your mind um, on your on your behalf and see, OK, what can I do to improve this situation? What are my circumstances really? And what do I do to improve the situation? And be calm and rational with whoever you speak to if it's really somebody who is not treating you well or doing right by you. Um, today, it's going to, the challenge of today is going to be to balance yourself and control your impulse to pop off at people Or to feel like all is lost. Control your impulse to go to one extreme or another is what it is. And work very, very hard on striking a balance today. There really is something afoot, I think, in terms of a threat to your money. Make sure that it's not you. Make sure that it's not you overspending because you're stressed out and you want to make yourself feel really good. The church bells are ringing, so this is important. Make sure that it's not you just throwing away money. Make sure that when somebody asks you for money today, it's verified. It's verified and it's sincere 
and there's somebody who's going to give you what, what, or they're really somebody who A, has a right to ask you for that money, or B, uh, and B, that, that they're a verified, uh, that they're verified and that they're a trustworthy place to put your money. Because Watch, because there is somebody that's mischievous and, and deceitful at foot, um, and and they're not doing right by your expenses. They're not. All that being said, the secret of today is using our brain wisely and using our words wisely so that we can communicate very, very clearly and economically so that we only communicate when we absolutely have to. The rest of the day is aligning yourself with those things that you love and giving yourself that time to relax as much as you can. I know you're probably at work for nine, eight, nine, ten hours today. It's okay. Make yourself calm. Listen to your favorite music. Um, any chance you get actually take a lunch break. You don't have to go out to eat an expensive lunch with colleagues. You can actually just take some time alone and unwind for an hour, maybe in a restroom, maybe in a, not restroom, like a bathroom, but a relaxation area or um, outside if it's nice weather. But what I'm saying is actually take your break today. It's very important so that you can recharge because there is an energy leech coming in the stress of the universe and the pressure of the universe today. So at whatever you get a chance to do today, make sure that you get a chance to recharge especially if you're in one of those block days where you're going to be at work for nine hours make sure that you can take an hour to yourself just to rest and relax and recharge get through the day speak when you have to but only when you have to if you don't have to so you're not being asked a direct question or you're you're, you're not really you're not being asked a direct question then listen listen and take notes so that you can assess what's happening. Because I think your power to listen today will be very, very important to your success or outcome with whatever you choose to engage in. So, in summary, today is a very good day. And we're blessed for this warning because it, it helps us prepare and, and, and get, it, yeah, it helps us prepare and see the red flags and have them flapping, make sure they don't flap in our face and maybe even alleviate some of them if we can avoid the pitfalls. This is a really good exposure of a lot of sort of um, landmines that could go off today. Now you can be aware of them and lay low. And also just today, do not be ashamed to take a personal day if you really, really need it. This is a day to allow yourself that downtime to pull back because yeah, it's just, it's just this need, this push to just pull back a little bit today and let the energies wash over you instead of, because you're going to have the tendency to overreact one way or the other. So breathe, give thanks and get through the day i'm here with you leave your comments in the in the leave your comments below and uh, share your experiences if it helps but remember be very economic today with your words because there could just be clashes where you're you're unexpected you're not expecting the clashes just to let you guys know so I will be back with the rest of four more Zodiac signs by the end of today. I thank you so much for tuning in. Please do click subscribe if you have not already. And I will talk to you tomorrow.